Kathy Sumner grew up in Maine and would spend summers swimming off the southern coast. She and her brother spent plenty of time in the pool as well for various swim teams. Mandy would grow up and pursue a career in geology, but she was quickly pulled back to the water. After spending time in Hawaii learning how to free dive and competing there, she decided to take on a bigger challenge. So we were always at the beach growing up here and down in Wells and in Gunkwit and Kennebunk just all day, every day in, in the summer. When she's in the water, Mandy Sumner feels at home. I grew up swim team, so you know, when you're on the block and that buzzer goes off to go, you go hard. And with free diving, you need to be calm and control your breath and control your mind before you start your dive because it makes, you know, it rolls, gets your heartbeat slower and it conserves your energy. In 2009, Mandy made the move to Hawaii. Being in Hawaii, like I, I started scuba diving and then I just happened, to, happened upon free diving with some friends and we were sailing um, and moored up on like a, a wreck that I had scuba dove quite a few times. And I was just, they were in the water and I said, oh, I, you know, I wanna try, I wanna do, cause I, want, I would love to try that, see how deep I could go. Um, because they're just always very comfortable in the water. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, okay, kind of gave me a rundown, we'll safety you, put the dive watch on me. And my first dive, I went down to about 110 feet because I went to the top of the wreck and stood on the wreck and then came back up. So when I came back up, they were like, where did you go? You know, we didn't expect you. I was like, I went to the wreck and they're like, no. And they looked at my watch and sure enough, they're like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. So were you so hooked? After I was that? hooked. Hooked and ready to pursue free diving full time. Earlier this month, Mandy traded the warm waves of the Pacific for the frigid waters of Norway. Only this dive came with higher stakes. and would be done completely under ice. It's one thing to get into, do a cold water dip and have that, you know, acclimate your body and control your breath. But it's another thing like trying to get your body to do something when you're still, when you're in the water. And I was so nervous like doing that because I've never done anything like that before. I've been under the ice like many times with a wetsuit, but with a swimsuit, you know, I was like, that's another level. Wearing only a swimsuit and bi fins, Mandy would push her body to glide 75 meters underwater. That's about 50 feet shy of a football field. What's waiting for her at the other end? A world record. Even if I was nervous before my dive under the ice, like each one, as soon as I'd get in the water, that would go away. And then I would just concentrate on my breathing and then I'd do my dive. And the whole time I'm doing my dive, it was, uh, I didn't feel the cold and I was just focused on my dive. Yes, you have, you know, this, in this case, I had 19 inches of ice under, above me. Mm. <laughs> it, that didn't bother me. I mean, it was very bright under there. The clarity was really nice. So as I'm going towards the shore, I can see everything. There's like grass, like underwater and it, everything is so clear and the light beams are like shining through the, the holes that, that were cut. It was beautiful. Wow. So I just was concentrating on that. That concentration would pay off right here. As Mandy became the first woman in the world to complete this icy challenge. It feels good. It feels really good. It really hit me on my way home because I was just minding my own business on my flight and I had a stopover in Iceland. And there just happened to be the two ladies sitting with me um, I could I I heard their accent and it's immediately I said are you from Hawaii and they are from Oahu and I was like this is crazy because they know free diving and so I was like they're like what were you doing in no Norway and I said well I just broke a world record under the ice and they're like we did ice dips up in <laughs> northern Norway we're on a tour and there just happened to be 28 Hawaiians like it's somewhere from Kona where I, like I've been and also in Oahu. And so it was kind of like a, a mini party at like 30,000 feet. So I really felt like that's when it, it hit me. You go first. <laughs> we, we both have comments, but you go first. <laughs> do, do you want to know how cold the water was? I absolutely do. Okay, 35 degrees, 19 inches of ice yeah. over her. Yeah. 
and just gliding, gliding through the water. I would have been panicking under there, but really, really cool stuff. Remarkable how red she was when she yes. emerged from the water. Clearly yeah. the, the physiological changes mm -hmm. that take place are extraordinary. Yes. yes, well, and she was talking about the training that goes into something like this. It's hard to do it in pools because they have certain regulations around, I guess, how long you're supposed to be underwater and this mm -hmm. and that, but the training, two weeks just in the water, and she said her body was craving it by the time she got ready to do the actual challenge itself. So one it's of the many cool. things that's fascinating though is to go from swimming in Hawaii yeah. to doing that the, the cold water swimming. I would just think that that would be I mean it's one thing if you've been training in Maine for an entire summer yeah. and then into the fall yeah. and swimming through the winter or going into the water as people do. Mm -hmm. But uh, to go from Hawaii to that kind of feat is just mind boggling. Yeah. No, it's really, really cool. She held her breath for more than a minute, which is impressive as well. And if you would like to learn more about Mandy, all of her swimming adventures, just head to the 207 section of our website and app.